Hey everyone, this is Sam Cressel back again with another update. This time we have gotten more information surrounding the upcoming Snyder Cut of Justice League which will be released on the 18th of March this year. And just recently, not one, but two images of Jared Leto as the Joker have surfaced online, as Zack Snyder himself has given us the now official look at his Joker. The first image of Jared Leto kept us guessing, giving us a hint of anticipation with his new look as the Joker. Though it was clear he seemed to be lacking his facial tattoos from Suicide Squad though. And when the images finally leaked online, we then got our first real look of Jared Leto with a slightly different appearance. In this case, I would say it's a good difference, as we speculated he would have longer hair as he did in the first image. And within these two images, it is very well clear that his hair is very long. And it looks not really bad, really, I have to say. I for one think Leto looks good with longer hair as the Joker, while it is much different than Heath Ledger who had greasy short hair, while Walking Phoenix had long curly hair. And on top of that, even his makeup design seems to have a different touch as well. And believe it or not, it actually looks quite good. From his darkened eyes to his smeared lipstick, it actually looks like the better suited look of the character that everyone was hoping for. Whereas in Suicide Squad, he seemed to have very little effort of makeup patched on. Although, again, he was supposed to look comic book accurate. This design on Jared Leto, I have to say, looks a bit more convincing, as people on the internet had stated that this was the appearance that we could have gotten in Suicide Squad. You may also notice that his tattoos are now replaced with very visible facial scars as I predicted in my last video that they are a result of his tattoos being removed while he was spending time at Arkham Asylum. But according to some articles, no, it's actually a setting from the Nightmare Dream sequence from Batman v Superman, where Batman had a vision where Superman had taken over humanity and everything was transformed into an apocalyptic type era. And judging from this photo here, it seems like Batman might visit the Joker during this vision which is regarding this photo with Batman in his nightmare jacket, probably in Arkham Asylum during Darkseid's reign, and the Joker probably giving him an intimidating speech, as he might say something like, You can't escape the apocalypse, Batman. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if he will laugh like that again in the film, but it's likely he will laugh in some way after he taunts Batman and reminds him of the mistakes he made in the past. Speaking of which, this could also tie into the Joker's murder of Robin, which, though was teased in Batman v Superman, was heavily hinted at when the Snyder Cut was announced and almost made it into the 2017 version. However, although it's likely that the Joker might appear more briefly in the Snyder Cut than he did in Suicide Squad, it's been speculated that this won't be the Joker's final form in the film, meaning he might sport a different look outside of the one in this image. For better or for worse, that is. But that depends on the effort that Jared Leto went through to get back into character. And even though his first turn as the Joker sparked some controversial stories of the onset drama he caused during the making of Suicide Squad, it's a bit likely that he went in a different direction with his method acting to create something new out of his take on the Joker for the Snyder Cut. And if we're lucky, we might get some new information on what Leto did that hopefully doesn't involve sending weird presents to the cast, because we might get a better performance out of him now that he's working under Zack Snyder's direction. And whatever it was that Leto had worked on and we get to see his performance, we could say it was definitely worth it, and Leto found something much real to work with. And those are my thoughts of Jared Leto's look as the Joker. I can't say it's anywhere near as good as Heath Ledger's, but it does look really good though. It looks convincingly terrifying, and it's hopeful his performance will actually pay off once the Snyder Cut is released. I was really looking forward to seeing what Leto's Joker was going to look like after the first image, and after seeing what we have now, his performance might be worth it. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention earlier. Although the Joker's facial tattoos are no-show in this image, it's likely he still has his metal teeth, while others have speculated that Batman's loss of Robin was the cause of Joker losing his real teeth and having to keep them ever since. Again, 
It depends if he still has them or not, because this vision that Batman has might indicate that the Joker still has them though. So anyway, that's it for this video for now. Tell me what you think of Jared Leto's new look as the Joker. Do you think it works for him? Put your thoughts down in the comments below, click subscribe and I'll be back again with another video soon. See you guys later.